you have been praying for AGI, OpenAI has a special gift for you. This is the way they're welcoming 2025, which is with a to-do app. This is a new service that is part of ChatGPT Plus and might come also for free ChatGPT users. Eh? That's, that's it? It only does hot dogs? No, and a not hot dog. Literally, not joking, this is a to-do app. So you can make ChatGPT schedule tasks. If anybody who has worked with web servers, you know that this is literally a Chrome job coupled with a bunch of prompts. So a Chrome job with prompt is what ChatGPT is gifting you at the start of 2025 and they might actually have larger vision about it. So in this video, I'm going to just show you what is this to-do app or ChatGPT tasks and we are going to see a couple of examples and what this might ultimately lead to. To start with, this is going to be a separate model altogether that you have got to select. So what OpenAI has done is they have actually fine-tuned the GPT-40 version with a couple of tasks so that it understands how to perform task and it can be a one-off task and also a recurring task as well. So first go to your chat GPT, click the model, select GPT-40 plus schedule task. So click this and then say something nice. For example, can you give me a summary of latest AI news every day at 11.20 p.m. So this is like 11.19 p.m. for me and I've just given a task and it is creating a task. The task is, got it, I will provide a daily summary of AI news at 11.20 p.m. So now when this actually gets executed, if you have enabled browser notification, which I've not done at this point, you will get a browser notification that this task has been executed for you. And the second thing is you will get an email from OpenAI at 11.20, which has not happened at this particular point. So very soon in a couple of seconds, you are going to get, uh, at least in this particular case, I'm going to get a task update that something looks like this, where it would say what I have got to do, but it has not happened yet. So let's wait for it and uh, we will see what is happening. Not it. So I'll wait for this. Now, what is this particular task? So there are like a lot of different things that you can do here. And this has been very well put together by a software engineer slash something something at OpenAI. And Karina has said that this is the first time that they're releasing something where OpenAI can manage tasks for you asynchronously. So like I said, this is literally what you would do with uh, Chrome jobs. And there are a couple of use cases that Karina is highlighting, which might actually convert you into using something like this one. If you are a stock market nerd, or if you are like invested a lot of money in stock market, then you might want to know the stock prices uh, every day morning when you wake up to depress yourself with this. So you can say, tell ChatGPT to check the stock every morning at a given time, send this back to you. I mean, why would you do this with ChatGPT if you can already do it with Google within a swipe? I don't know, maybe you can do it. You can ask ChatGPT or you can delegate ChatGPT to write new sci-fi stories and uh, in Canvas, which is another feature that I've not covered for a long time, and get it in your inbox, the sci-fi story. Maybe something that you would want to read to your kids before their bedtime. So every day you can get a sci-fi story with their kids, your kid's name in the as the main character in this. This is like Star Wars, uh, but uh, you know, your own version of Star Wars. This should be pretty fun if you were to do it. Or you might be preparing for a new language learning and uh, could be that you know, every day you want to learn a new language or you could be having an upcoming interview and you want like every day a Python programming problem to be solved. So you can send it to you, to your inbox, asking ChatGPT to do it, not like some pre-written exam um, that you want to subscribe or buy. I've had a couple of friends who prepared for like a GMAT kind of test and every day they used to wake up with flashcards in their hand where they wanted to learn a new word. And this pretty much seems like something that you can actually do with ChatGPT at this point without having to spend a lot of money there. So these are some use cases that Karina is trying to introduce you to so that you can understand that, okay, what you can use ChatGPT tasks for. Now, going back to our task, if you have to see this here, I probably have already gotten the task 1120. So today stop AI developments. Oh, no, I don't have it here. Why ChatGPT? Okay, I've got to click the message and then that ideally takes me to this ChatGPT interface, which would have been nice if I had gotten a bullet there. But anyways, here is a summary of the latest development, Google's AI search expansion. 
and um, this is basic information. Taiwan's advanced AI chip prediction, Biden's comprehensive cybersecurity executive order, UK's AI safety initiative, Adobe's AI integration, and uh, Google's AI generated podcast. None of these seem very interesting to me, at least personally, but you have got the recent AI development. I mean, you can forget that perplexity exists, or in fact, a partly that whatever you want to do with Google, you can do it with this. I would personally like this because I've been a heavy user of IFTTT for a very long time. For those who do not know IFTTT, it stands for if then this that I've uh, I've used it for a lot of automation many, many years ago. And I had done things like this. And when Google alerts was a thing, I was a big fan of Google alert. Like I had set a bunch of Google alert every day to understand what is happening in a particular topic, what is happening with a particular person. So for somebody like me who is obsessed with getting reminders a lot, in fact, I have got a reminder at my phone every day at four o'clock to tell me to do something productive. So I'm a very reminder based guy. So I would probably some like something like this, but I mean, open AI, you are supposed to be the AGI company, the company like that takes humanity forward. And this is what OpenAI is doing. For that question, there is a slight answer that I might probably be able to tell you, which is OpenAI seems to be experimenting based on Tibor Blaho's reverse engineering. It seems to be experimenting with something called Caterpillar feature, which could be the deep research mode and it could do th certain things like browser automation as well. So it could be searching, thinking, summarizing, open the website, do something like with a bunch of tasks and have a sidebar with a task result. So if this is what OpenAI wants to do, I think it makes sense for them to first tell us what are the manual tasks that we want to do and then probably in the future automate those tasks. Like for example, go book a ticket for you or could be something like go buy this uh, concert ticket at this particular time and I'm probably sleeping. Or, you know, there are certain things that people want browsers to do more efficiently. And this could be a future that OpenAI could be going into it. Again, not AGI, none of those things that they've been telling us. But I think this has practical implications in terms of how automation is done. And anybody who has worked in big company, you know that robotic process automation is like a big deal in a lot of these companies. And I can foresee that OpenAI could be going in that direction with a lot of intelligence, browser automation, and also of course, Chrome jobs that you can do a lot of things um, with enterprise value. So if this is what OpenAI wants to do, um, it looks like it's fun for OpenAI to make more money, but I'm not sure how much of end users would like this. Let me know if you would see yourself using ChatGPT task. I hope I will use it at least for the sake of paying $23 a month. But otherwise, let me know what you think about this feature. Is this something that you expected OpenAI to do and using it daily every single day? See you in another video. Happy prompting.